Day 389, 22 for 22. Good morning. Hope this finds you well. Please stay in your fight and don't quit. All right, so I'm going to touch on a subject that uh, I've avoided. And I've only avoided it because it's not my business what the hell you guys do. What any of you do. As long as you try to stay here. All right, but um, substance abuse. If you're doing crack, smack, or any of these other uh, hardcore drugs, even prescription drugs like uh, oxycodone, and you're abusing it, you're heading down the wrong path. Um, I am not going to say anything negative about weed. I smoked a long time ago and it didn't do anything for me. Uh, actually, it made shit worse for me. It didn't do what... <laughs> it did not... Uh, go as advertised um, so stopped wasn't getting anything out of it while well, I continue to do it now I know some people are having some good luck with CBD oil and and or just smoking weed that you know that's that's on that's on you you do what you got to do and you do what your job if you're working will allow you um, but for the harder stuff cracks Mac coke oxycodone, um, you know, being addicted to opiates. Um, that's going to put you in a bad spot. Now, full disclosure, I was on codeine for years. Um, I dreaded, because I had heard about the withdrawals, I was dreaded getting, uh, getting, out, getting off of it. And the VA just flat out said, we're not giving it to you anymore unless you have cancer or whatever. Uh, I was using it for pain and it worked um, but it was starting to affect my liver and stuff like that so they also don't like prescribing opiates anymore now with the opiate epidemic I can understand that but the other stuff if you're rec using recreational drugs like smack crack coke all that stuff try to stop because that's just gonna keep you in a tactical mindset of where you're gonna get the next get the next high um, and put you in some bad spots uh, financially, mentally, physically. So, you know, like I said, I'm not going to preach to you about it. But if you're if you're doing it, that's a that's a that's a bad road to be going down. And if you can get out, if you can get into some treatment and stop it, that'd be great for you and those and the family around you and your family around you. Um, like I said, I'm not going to preach on it to each his own in many, in many respects. But you got to think about what you're doing to yourself and what the end result is. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Alice in Chains, lost their lead singer to uh, a speedball overdose. And the dude had been doing heroin for years. And he knew it was killing him. One of his songs even said, a slow suicide's no way to go. He still couldn't stop himself. But you try to take that opportunity to get yourself clean and get a fresh start. Um, I don't have all the answers. And some of you may even get pissed off that I told you to quit doing drugs. Um, but if you are, I mean, it's, it's up to you. But you need to find a way find the way back to a life that is worth living because it is worth living you may have got yourself in a situation where you think it's not but it is and it's going to take some work it's going to take some pain it's going to take some tears it's going to take a whole bunch of shit out of you to get you back to where you want to be and I'm not even just talking about the drug use I'm just talking in general um, if you're in a bad spot and are sitting on the edge of that cliff looking into the abyss you got to think about these things because life is more than what's going on in your head. Um, I've been there where I've been self-involved um, and not really considering anything going on around me. And that's not fair to your family. That's not even fair to you because you're missing out on a whole bunch of life going on around you by being stuck in your head. And like I said, I've been there. And like I said before, 
I'm not a combat vet. I, you know, I will diminish what has happened with me in front of those that have gone on and done some horrific things in the name of their country to protect themselves and their brothers and sisters. But uh, you know, I, you know, I have been there. I have been where I'm stuck in my brain, and there ain't no getting out of it. And it, it's, it took a long time to get to where you see me today. I, I mean, I talk positive, but there wasn't. There was always. There was a time that Jim wasn't so positive. Um, and it's it's life's a bitch, but you got to make it your bitch and own it and live it and learn to love it and have the best one you can. You are the writer of your book. Start a new chapter. Finish off this last one and get moving on to something good. All right, some push-ups. Monday push-up suck. Oh God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, one for the airborne ranger in the sky, one for the infantry. One for the fall. Oh God, those suck. Why am I doing these push-ups again? <laughs> Holy. All right, so stay in your fight. Don't quit. If you think these videos are helping, please share. Um, share wherever you, wherever you want to. What the hell is that? You? Oh, think for my headphone. Thought I had a bug in my damn ear. So, uh, if you think they're helping, share. If you need help, seek help. Get it from friends, family, professionals, if you need to. But please do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary problem. You got this. Be here tomorrow. Tough out.